All right, so I wanted to just do a combination of like the looking forward with the semester and also first week video because I think having two of those is kind of redundant in my opinion. Um, so I'm just going to do it. So for this semester, as per usual, I'm going to talk about classes. I'm going to talk about how te what teaching I'm doing. And I'm going to talk about like some general like grad school things that I have to worry about this semester. I am taking four classes like last semester. I'm taking part two of measure theory. I'm taking part two of algebra, uh, and then I'm taking part two of pedagogy, and then I'm taking my elective at a nonlinear optimization. Um, I'm looking forward to all of the classes, honestly. I don't think any of them are like terrible or like scary based on what happened last semester. I think everything will be fine. Um, it'll be a challenge, definitely. Um, I think measure theory is probably gonna be mo my most challenging class out of the semester. And I think pedagogy is probably going to turn out to be my favorite class out of this semester again. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's all I'm taking. Um, I wish I knew all like the different topics within each class. I don't really know. Um, I'm just going in kind of blind, you know. As for teaching, I am teaching uh, Math 101, uh, College Algebra, uh, which I think is more like an Algebra 2 Part 2 kind of situation. We're kind of just recapping everything and I think based on the syllabus and also the textbook we do a lot of applications we do a lot of like why are we learning this type of thing um, the classroom is based on active learning as per usual I'm gonna see how well I can implement the active learning uh, I'm gonna see how well I can like learn some stuff uh, something new about my teaching though is that I have a learning assistant for my class I do have a lot more students than I did last semester last semester I had 16 this semester I have like 32, so literally twice the size. So I'm kind of happy that I have a learning assistant. I don't know how I'll mesh with like having such a large body of students, but I'm very excited because I think one, I get to learn how to teach in a very, not a very, but a more fast paced uh, curriculum than last semester. Uh, I get to teach more students, so then that I'll get used to like a larger group of uh, people. And I get to like coordinate with a learning assistant, which I think is kind of helpful to learn like how to converse with another person that's also helping you in the classroom. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited with teaching as per usual. It's like the main thing that I want to do in life um, currently. And like other grad school stuff, I believe I'm supposed to be looking for an advisor this semester. So who knows how that'll end up. Um, my my seminars are pretty much the same. I'm gonna I go to the graduate seminar, the graduate student seminar. I go to the PDEs one, and I think I'm doing two other ones. I can't go to the education anymore, the math education research, because it runs into one of my classes, which is really sad. Um, and I think I'm doing the student version of that one if that like happens. And then another one, which I think I'm joining, is a non-local uh, seminar one, which I think all of the ones that I'm in are pretty much all student-ran, because I don't really like going to the big boy seminars quite yet, because I don't really understand a lot of things. Um, but you know, maybe I'll go like once in a while if I know who's speaking, if I like recognize the title. But yeah, I think that's pretty much the main thing that's on my like radar at the moment. I'm waiting on my qualifying exam results because I did retake the analysis one because I did not pass it. Um, I think I passed it this time. I think I got the, like the necessary score that I need, but who knows? I'll find that out in like four weeks from now. Um, but yeah, I think those are all the things that I'm looking forward to. I'm very excited for this semester. It is going to be really cold the first month that I'm here, but we'll see how I am on Friday after my classes and all of that stuff. Uh, I'll probably be complaining about the cold a lot. Okay, so here's the fit check. We got a brown hat, a brown beanie, a brown shirt from Target, uh, a Uniqlo winter coat, uh, my Uniqlo pants, my Uniqlo socks, my Nike shoes. All right, we got the first day of teaching outfit. Uh, we got the houndstooth beanie. We got a turtleneck. We got a nice necklace. We got the same coat. We got new pants and Tim's. Also, it feels like minus six degrees outside apparently. Okay, 
Uh, third day, this is what we got. We got the same shoes, the same pants. We got a jacket or sweater inside now and a white hat. The same jacket as per usual because it's the only thing keeping me safe. All right, you guessed it. The same Uniqlo jacket. Today I'm wearing my Snom sweater. Still wearing the same white hat because it matches the sweater. We got the Uniqlo pants because it's warmer and also the shoes. Um, today is supposed to warm up, but it's only still like 60 degrees right now. All right, so the first week just ended. Uh, I just got home, took a shower, ate some stuff. Now I'm here to update you on how the first week of spring semester 2022 went. Um, it went really well. Uh, my classes are all interesting. Uh, I'm very happy with all my classes. Um, so far, it's kind of, I have two new professors this semester that I wasn't taking last semester. My algebra professor is new and my uh, nonlinear optimization uh, professor is also new. But I'm having fun in the classes. Uh, I can tell that it's going to be a challenging semester, like material-wise, but I think I'm going to do fine. Uh, I'm not entirely scared of like what's happening. Um, so yeah, those are my classes. Um, how teaching went, though. Um, we had two classes. We had Wednesday and Friday to see each other. Wednesday was mostly syllabus day. I made them read the essays that I've written before about like success and also how math is hard. It's in the description box if you want to read it also. I made them read it as like an introduction to who I am as a teacher, who I am as a person, what I value in like a classroom. Um, and I think students appreciated that. And so that was Wednesday. I got to know some of their names, like I like did activities with the with them. Um, and that's pretty much what we did. It was just getting to know like me and also like try to talk through like some of the structure of the class. I use a Discord for class. Um, our Canvas page is pretty much just a schedule that has links to the homeworks. Uh, and then they can email me questions. So pretty much like I do my best to try and like set the stage on the first day at least like logistics wise. Um, today though on Friday, um, I had a lot of students call out um, for like sick because you know, the situation right now. Um, and I started feeling bad because it's just like we were told that we have a lot of online material that's already been made. I trust the online textbook that we have. The online textbook has videos in the end of it that showcases that lesson, that like particular section, it talks through it. And I really like those videos and they're made. But today I felt really bad because today's lesson thing isn't in the textbook. Uh, it's a review for their upcoming assessment, which is just supposed to see where they're at like algebra wise, like how much have they learned before? Like, do they know enough of the pre-material that they can do very nicely well in this class? And that's not in the textbook because it's review. So then there's no supplemental videos for it. So then I felt bad. So I was like, I'll zoom the classroom. And what's nice about this classroom is that there's a camera in like the back and you can literally see the whole screen and then you can control it to like rotate left and right which is really nice and up and down. So it was really cool. So I used that to zoom in for the people who weren't in class. But the thing is that I can't manage both an in-person classroom and also a Zoom like group. So what ended up happening is that I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to live stream myself teaching, but you don't get to really interact with me, which is like 90% of like my teaching is like interacting with me. So then I told them that I'm only doing this because this is the CRA review. I want to be able, I want you to have this review also and not miss out. And that was probably like a good choice in the end. I try to gauge students like uh, reception of it to see like how it mended. Uh, I don't think I'll do it every single day. I think I'll do it whenever it's like I'm heavy on the chalkboard, not chalkboard, but on the whiteboard. Every other day, I'll probably just not have Zoom because um, every other day I'll just have um, me going around the classroom, talking through different tables, talking through all the different materials. There'll be a few times where I'll be in front of the board lecturing, but we try to avoid that because it is a, a active learning classroom. It is an active learning course. So we want to try and avoid me lecturing to students. And I really want to practice that. I want to practice a non lectury type of teaching to see how it works because I think uh, student learning from each other is a lot more fruitful and I think a lot more exciting for students than me like teaching in front of the whiteboard. So yeah, that's how teaching went. 
that's pretty much it for this update start to the semester video thing combined um january 22nd is my birthday so i think i'm posting this on my birthday so yeah uh happy birthday to me i'll post like an actual birthday video like later but i guess this will serve as like my birthday my video on my birthday video but yeah um i'll see y'all later